The Random Jottings of Donald J. In Nelson in Bendel, Lancashire. Once upon a time, in a small town called Burnley, there was a night fisherman named Jack. He loved spending his evenings fishing on Rowley Lake, which was surrounded by thick woods and was a popular spot for fishing enthusiasts. One night, as he was casting his line, he noticed something strange in the sky. At first, he thought it was a shooting star, but then he realized that it was something else entirely. It was a flying object, moving at an incredible speed. He watched in awe as it flew over the lake, its arrow-shaped body illuminated by four bright lights at each corner. The craft was completely silent, and it left no contrails behind it. Jack had never seen anything like it before. He couldn't explain what he was seeing, and he knew that he had to find out more. The next day, he went to the local news station to report what he had seen. The story quickly spread, and soon, people from all over the town were talking about the mysterious flying object. Some speculated that it was a secret military project, while others thought it was an alien spacecraft. The local authorities were contacted, but they refused to comment on the matter. Despite the media attention, the incident was quickly forgotten, and life in Burnley went back to normal. But for Jack, the memory of the flying arrow stayed with him. He spent hours researching online, trying to find any information that could explain what he had seen. Eventually, he stumbled upon a forum where people were discussing similar sightings in the area. They suggested that the object could have been a secret military drone, or even a prototype for a new type of aircraft. Jack was fascinated by this idea, and he decided to investigate further. He spent weeks camping out near the lake, hoping to catch another glimpse of the flying arrow. But it never returned. Years went by, and Jack grew older. He eventually moved away from Burnley and settled down in a different town but he never forgot about the mysterious craft he had seen that night. He would often think about what it could have been, and wonder if he would ever get to see it again. And who knows? Maybe one day, the flying arrow will return, and Jack will be there to witness it once again. By Donald J.